What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So this will be another Saw video here today. We're going to be talking about Saw X and mostly about the future of the franchise and what Saw 11 could potentially end up looking like. Although things could change given the success of Saw X, this is the tentative plans or one of the plans that have been in the works along with Saw X for quite some time because this post that I'm going to go over is a year old or so now at this point. I think I've actually touched on it before in the past, but I just kind of want to do a refresher to remind you all of what could potentially be on the horizon after Saw X leaves theaters or after Saw X has released and just, you know, been out into the populace as a part of the franchise officially. So in terms of Saw X, one thing I want to address right off the bat, Mark Hoffman. Mark Hoffman, someone who was not visibly present in the trailer so many people have pointed out and i did catch on to this you can hear costas you can hear his voice in the trailer in the english version anyway and i'm saying english version for a reason what, what a lot of fans have done now is they pointed out that in some of the some of the uh the trailers for the dubbed voices you can hear bertrand natler who dubbed costas who again is hoffman in french throughout the saw saga so what that would end up mean is that if you have people who dub Hoffman, Hoffman is in the movie. Not only that, again, Saw Space, Heat, they themselves put out a tweet letting you know that Hoffman will be back. But the dubbing at this point, that is the evidence that you all have to just kind of sit with to know that Hoffman will be back. In what capacity he will be back? I do not know. I do know that the user that I am going to talk about today, Vink360, seems to be more than satisfied with how Hoffman is incorporated into the story. Now, Vink360 jumping into Saw 11 and what could, what could potentially be on the horizon. Vink360, a user over on the Saw subreddit who kind of more or less is someone trusted over there right along with Saw Space, put out a post a year ago saying that Saw 11 is expected to be the TV show. And they shared some details on what to expect said hey everyone i would like to preface this short post to acknowledge that this information is very much still subject to change given that they haven't begun filming saw x yet you may have seen me talk about this in vague terms in various posts over the past few years here are the details saw x is expected to be the the new final bow chapter for the franchise spiral underperform and a future sequel is unlikely though not impossible whatever the case may be twisted expects to pause the saw film franchise until they figure out what's next after x if that movie does incredibly well they may decide to expedite a direct sequel to it but that's not the expectation for now now keep in mind this post is from a year ago there are no definite plans to stop making Saw movies forever, quite the opposite. But when Saw comes back to theaters after X, they want people to have missed it and for it to be a home run, even if it may not might, might not have Jigsaw. Perhaps that return will be a revamped Spiral sequel, but a safer bet will be on a brand new, radically different concept. In the meantime, in the meantime, they have other plans to keep Saw alive through derived products like video game partnerships and most importantly a tv series featuring to featuring tobin's voice and tentatively taking place between saw and saw 3 so similar to what's happening with saw x G keep in mind this is from a year ago the person was telling you what was going to happen with saw x a year ago now specifically here they put between saw and saw 3 which is still what's happening with saw x but more specifically that's between saw and saw 2 so the TV show idea was originally born out of their post Jigsaw Lessons debrief that led to the elaboration of the Saw X script, which was Saw 9 at the time. Now, the reason you should find this to be credible and why you should trust this user is not only because of the users over on the Saw subreddit who trust them, but because Josh Stolberg has come out and validated that recent claim that and that post from Josh wasn't a year ago, validating that saw x that we're about to get originally was going to be saw nine before spiral was even a thing so here's what vink continued to say in the post while josh and pete were busy working on the new movie that now is saw x other writers formed a writer's room to come up with a story with much the same core idea no apprentices all john kramer while he was alive but while the josh and pete script focuses on telling a story from john's point of view the other group of writers who were conceiving that TV show 
their story will focus on the perspective of the victims. So at the time, it wasn't clear whether that story will end up as a movie or a TV show, but plans have become more clear since. As of now, Twisted aims to make it as a TV show, produced by Twisted and Lionsgate TV. The writers include a mix of newcomers and mostly returning writers. Apparently, Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton are a part of this. Much like Saw X, it's safe to say returning characters aren't really on the table, unless we include Tobin's voice. It's important to note, it's still incredibly early days and the focus is all on Saw X at the moment, but I thought folks may enjoy hearing about further plans to continue the franchise. Now, the reason this is an important post is because, again, if we get a Saw show that is set still in between Saw and Saw 3, I think you could have something work there. If Saw X proves to be successful, like Vink pointed out, they might just they might just keep the TV show on the back burner for now, but then do a direct sequel to Saw X. Or maybe the writer's room concept for what they want to do as the TV show becomes Saw 11. If the success of Saw X leads them to say, you know what? Okay, let's find a way to turn this into a, a feature film. But I think the potential chances of having a, a TV show set in between the events of Saw 2 and 3 uh, or setting between the events of Saw and Saw 3 would be rather entertaining. There's a lot of different things you can play with. But we see him to playing with doctors in the upcoming film, Corrupt Doctors. He can play with some other corrupt individuals. Not that that's anything new for Jigsaw, but, you know, going back to basics, but in a television format. You guys can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. That's one of the possibilities you could have on your way for Saw 11. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and miss video in the description. I will have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And in the description, I will leave a link to the, to the post by Vink over on Reddit. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.